Does everything occupies the space? Welcome to your own channel, Why Not Academy. Hey kids, today we have a science story about a smart bird. Meet Coco the crow. He is not only thirsty but super clever. Let's see how he solves his problem. So, are you ready for thirsty crow's clever plan? One hot summer day, Coco the crow was flying around in search of water. He was feeling so thirsty. It's so hot. I'm feeling so thirsty. I could drink a whole lake of water. Coco spotted a pot with some water at the bottom. Finally, I got some water. He looks up into the pot and sees the water at very bottom, way out of his reach. Oh no, it's too deep. My beak can't reach. But Coco was not an ordinary crow. He was a clever science student. He thought and thought until he got an idea. I have got a I can't reach the water. Maybe I can make water come up to me. Coco looked around and found some small pebbles nearby. He picked them and dropped into the water. Tuk, tuk. What do you think? What will happen when he added stones? Will the water rise enough for Coco to drink? Coco dropped pebble. The water level rose higher and higher. Coco was so excited. And it is based on the principle that everything occupies the space. To check this principle, you need a clear glass or plastic cup, water, small stones or pebbles and marker which is optional so you have glass water stones and the marker now steps involved is first let's take a cup and fill it half with the water can you see the water level mark it with the marker to remember the water level now you have small stones here just like Coco used in his story. Go on adding the stones and check the level of the water. Is it rising? Yes, the water level is rising after adding few stones into the water. Why this happens? It happens because stone take up space. When we add stones or pebble to the water, they push the water out of the way and make it rise. When Coco added pebbles to the pot, the water came up and Coco could finally drink it. Yay! What other possible ways you think to drink water to find a straw? But it's really hard and difficult to find a straw in a jungle. Another way could be to tilt the pot and drink the water. But it's really very difficult for a crow to handle a tilted pot with his wings. Another way to wait for the rain. Oh God, when it will happen by the time the cocoa may die. And you can break the pot to have the water but it's such a destructive way not to have pot and not to have water so it's really not a good idea through this story coco taught us that when the thing seems impossible do not give up all we need is patience and have clever idea and out of box thinking do you have any other guess for this principle where it works your time starts now tick 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 i have few ideas for you suitcase 
when you fill the cloths into the suitcase it is occupying the space and after some filling it becomes difficult to close sitting in a car when someone is sitting in a car it is occupying the space and if some other person has to sit the place should be vacant or someone has to get out of the car when you add ice cube in the juice the ice cube replacing some space and spilling out some of the juice from the glass and last is jumping all the friends inside the pool and splashing water outside and having lot of fun by rising the level of water thank you for joining us in coco's clever adventure like share and subscribe for more science and fun stories comment your own creative stories and ideas see you next time and keep watching your own channel by node academy thank you very much